Welcome to TV station of Yijin Feng Shui Weixin TV. We are serving you the most professional and informative news of Weixin Shenjiao. Every Monday at 11.30 p.m. current local time in Taiwan, Weixin English News will be broadcasted. Today is November 28, 2016. This is Fiona serving you the news of new religion of the world, Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao, of this week. First, Let's watch today's Wei Xin Shenjiao feature story. Hello, everyone. I'm Yi Tofu. This is Clara. Welcome to watch today's feature story. Today, we are continue serving you feature story about Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi, the founder of the new region of the world, Taiwan Wei Xin Shenjiao. Thirty-four years had passed since 1983. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi decided to dedicate his life to spirituality to help you better understanding about the timeline of Wei Xin Shen Jiao. We will divide it into three main parts chronologically. From 1983 to 1988 is the period of proving the Dharma. Our founder, Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi, started from three dollars. He opened a family home called Yi Yao She in Taichung City for worship Buddhas and solving follows problems through divination. He used feng shui principles to change their household or factory feng shui into a good one and encourage people for self cultivation and recite Buddha's name. People respectfully called him Teacher Zhang because their lives were improved when they accept and follow the Grandmaster's suggestions. During this period of time, Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi felt that Yi Jing, Feng Shui, and self cultivation are three main Dharma treasures, which brings safety and security to our present world. So, he determined the future scope of Wei Xin Shen Jiao and decided to preach his knowledge of Yi Jing and Feng Shui in public. From 1989 to 1994 is the period of practicing the Dharma. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi established the Changjing Mountain Xinfo Temple, which was the central place and the foundation of raising and cultivating talented people, propagate Dharma and spiritual practice. He actively held Yi Jing Feng Shui Hard Dharma Lecture to promote the wielding of the ancient scalp scent. He noticed that disciples were increasing. Thus, he thought, why not found this educational institution to spread to larger audience? Therefore, he decided to establish a region, not only promote Great Guzzi's Hard Dharma, but also cultivated the mind. From 1993 till now is the period of propagating the Dharma. Yi Jing University was founded as lifelong learning institution for propagating of Yi Jing and Feng Shui. He offered the various courses and welcomed overseas Chinese, college students and kids attended related course. Next, preaching activity via television was unchecked. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi recalled video lectures of teaching about the principle of Yi Jing and Feng Shui to encourage everyone to learn Yi Jing at home. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi became a familiar presence on television through the daily programs with higher television rating. In 2015, it was an important and significant event for Wei Xin Shen Jiao to have Wei Gu culture, Wei Xin Dao Zhang, which include Wei Gu hard dharma and auspicious and lessons of Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi for the past 33 years. Wei Xin Dao Zhang is an impressive set of 15,615 volumes. Wei Xin Dao Zhang is not only our spiritual system, but also our treasure house of expanding wisdom. After 33 years, Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi, proving the Dharma, 
practicing the Dharma and propagating the Dharma. At the present, he's still busy with great vow, and at benefiting the sentient beings and spreading the Dharma. Though he is seventy-two years old, he is a practitioner of Yi, of Weixing Shen Jiao, spreads the Dharma without hesitate. He cultivated in the field of religion and education, and his exploded wisdom benefits to all people, like scholar, farmer, artisans, or merchants. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi instructs that the Chinese culture is a culture of peace and harmony. We sincerely believe that both cultural reconciliation. And the globalization of Chinese spirituality, of which Weixing Shen Jiao is an important part, would eventually become key factors in the promotion of world peace. Thanks for watching today's feature story. Next week, we will continue service you more story about Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi, what difficult he faced. During Dharma Palgate, see you next week. In news on Weixin Shen Jiao charity activity overseas, we are going to Vietnam to take a look at the cooperation between local virtuous fellows of Weixin Shen Jiao and the Dental Association. Together, they offer the pro bono clinic and public welfare activity to express their care for the local people. Weixing Shen Jiao Virtuous Fellow in Vietnam and Dental Association offer pro bono clinic and public welfare activity together. Weixing Shen Jiao Virtuous Fellow in Vietnam shown the spirit of We Are Family by providing support in material and finance to people in need in country Vietnam. They offered pro bono clinic and public welfare activity together with Oral Implantology Association in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. The activity named 2016 Oral Implantology Association in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, in Yijing University, Taiwan, pro bono clinic and public welfare activity. The purpose of the activity was to assist a vulnerable group of people living in Lingshan Community, Lingshan County, Lingshan Province, Vietnam. Businessmen from overseas Taiwan work very diligently in Vietnam every day. But they never forget how important social responsibility is. Weixing Shen Jiao Virtuous Fellow in Vietnam, following instructions from Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, said, "We should give support or aids to the other people. Once we have defended ourselves from infringement and we do not harm people." The event triggered initially from conversation between owner of Pingyang Dental Clinic Vietnam and Weixing Shen Jiao Virtuous Fellow Mr. Zhen. They realized that those businessmen working in Vietnam held some welfare activities often at Lu Ban Temple, Taiwanese Businessmen Association, or some private companies. They used the most straightforward method by giving necessary materials to the residents who were in need. Furthermore, those businessmen were invited to attend the activity on November 5th and offered pro bono clinic services to residents in Lingshan Community, Lingshan County, Lingshan Province, Vietnam. The pro bono clinic services have been offered consistently over years in many provinces in Vietnam. They diagnose patients, treat patients, and deliver medicine to helpless people and minority group. Who is not affordable to pay bill of medical treatment? Doctors and interns from Oral Implantology Association in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, brought medical equipment and supplements to diagnose teeth, to extract teeth, and to give dental knowledge. Another group of people distributed and packed donated materials. The book named Feng Shui Study of Yang House and scholarship were also packed together. We hope love can be delivered to every corner in the world without boundaries. Weixing Shen Jiao Virtuous Fellow also shared the book Feng Shui Study of Yang House to all participants who attended the pro bono clinic services on the same day. Weixing News, Vietnam. Take a break. We will come back soon. 本节目由。
Now we are turning our focus to important Dharma rituals. In 2010, the Earth was facing a fatal crisis. There were many sinkholes around the world, an indication of the imbalanced gravity of the Earth. Following the instruction of Wang Chen Lao Zu, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi led Wei Xin Virtuous Fellows to chant the Mother Earth Sutra. Everyone was responsible for chanting the Mother Earth Sutra 200 times. On November 17th of the lunar calendar, headquarters Changji Mountain Xianfo Temple held the ancestor associative veneration of the Chinese and disaster elimination ritual. During this ritual, we burned the testimony of chanting the sutras to heaven. At the same time, we pray for the restoration of a balanced gravity, elimination of sinkholes, peace and harmony among people under the influence of the willpower of virtuous fellows, and the positive energy generated from chanting the sutra, that is, the incredible power of religion. Meanwhile, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi instructed us the merciful spirit of timely sutra chanting and charity is the mean to achieve world peace. This is the deep connection between Mother Earth and Wei Xin Shen Jiao, and this is the manifestation of the incredibility and magnificence of the words of the deities and humans. On November 17th, Wei Xin Shen Jiao branch temples held rituals to celebrate Mother Earth's birthday. We express our gratitude to Mother Earth for protecting, nourishing, and show tolerance to all sentient beings. Each branch temple offered incense, flowers, fruits, birthday peaches, birthday noodles, gold and silver paper monies, enchanted Mother Earth Sutra, and Guigu Immortal Mass Heavenly Virtue Sutra to celebrate Mother Earth's birthday. Grand Mason Yuan Chan Shi instructed the mayors of Mother Earth. <laughs> Yashi 我都講講在地球上修行,這家繼續緣分。将关到这个地球虽然有各种无同款的因缘因因果果因缘果报完完相报各家也要未了 Earth tolerates all living things Her great merits are incomparable Wei Xin Sheng Jiao remembers Mother Earth's merits like our own mother Under a very special occasion We got a Mother Earth Sutra from Qing Dynasty Guangxu Emperor Era San Xi He Zongfu, Mother Earth Temple. In 2010, Wei Xin Sheng Jiao, in order to repair sinkholes and eliminate disasters, mobilized Wei Xin Virtuous Fellows to chant Mother Earth Sutra, merit dedications, and relied upon Mother Earth's benevolent power, smoothly repair the sinkholes, and to prevent from happening and eliminate disasters. Therefore, Wei Xin Sheng Jiao Virtuous Fellows should sincerely express our gratitude to Mother Earth for her compassion and broad minded to raise and tolerate all living things. Wei Xin News, Summary Report. Continue to news on overseas activity, tracing back the origin. 
Veneration of Ancestors and the Heaven at Zhuolu County, China. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi instructed that for tracing back our origin, paying respect to our ancestors and gods, realizing filial piety, settling the spirits of our ancestors, wishing virtuous fellows should venerate our ancestors at Zhuolu in a regular basis. The veneration is entering its third year. Masters and virtuous fellows of Weixin Shenjiao have visited Yellow Emperor Temple, Chiyou Temple, Yandi Temple to worship Yellow Emperor, congratulate the father of industry Chiyou for his birthday, and celebrate the anniversary of the establishment of Yandi Temple, respectively. Let's take a look. Weixin Shenzhou traces the origin to close the pages of Jiu Li Chiyo's historical injustice treatment. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi wished to see Chinese descendants acknowledge that Jiu Li Chiyo Emperor is one of three Chinese ancestors. Therefore, Taiwanese company donated money for building three ancestral shrines in three different places, which were Qiaoshan, Gushan, and Fanshan in Hebei Zhuo Lu. The construction of Yellow Emperor Palace Hall, Chiyo Shrine, and Yan Emperor Temple were completely successfully within five years. Every year, Weixin Virtuous Fellows will make pilgrimage to worship three Chinese ancestors to express their gratitude. In 2016, Luzhou Branch Temple Master Yuan Feng leads Weixin Virtuous Fellows around 100 people went to Hebei Zhuolu. On December 12, they arrived at Qiaoshan Yellow Emperor Palace Hall to worship Xuanyuan Yellow Emperor, the first ancestor of Chinese culture. Next, they went to Fanshan Jiu Li Shrine to worship first ancestor of Chinese industry Jiu Li Chiyo Emperor, then held ritual for cleansing land and Gushan Yan Emperor Temple to prepare for sixth anniversary ritual on December 14. Dama and offerings offered to first ancestor of Chinese agriculture Shenlong Yan Emperor. Worship three Chinese ancestors are completely successfully. They are praying for our ancestors can resolve their grimaces, and all Chinese descendants hand in hand, heart to heart, to achieve the world as a family. Weixin Shenzhou will hold the 12th Chinese Nationality United Worship Ancestor Ceremony in Lincoln Stadium, Taiwan. We invite Chinese representatives from Taiwan and overseas. Our ancestors would love to see all descendants hand in hand, heaven and humans are in one, and dancing together to create eternal world peace. Total 12 worship ancestor ceremonies have been completed successfully. We believe that all Chinese people will resolve conflicts and end words together to open up Chinese nationality future 5,000 years of a bright period. Weixin News at Hebei Zhuo Lu. Take a break. We will come back soon. The discussions and Dharma Affair promotion with branch presidents of Weixin Shenzhou Marie's Foundation have been taking place in branch temples in Taiwan. Let's together see how the progress has gone so far. General Secretary Master Yuan Dao and Vice General Secretary Master Yuan De of Weixin Shenzhou Merits Foundation have been traveling to branch temples to promote the providence of chanting 10 million sutras. They have also held discussions with many branch presidents of the Merits Foundation to find out more about the progress of the Dharma Affair promotion. The branch presidents shared the difficulties they have encountered and experiences they have gained during the Dharma Affair promotion. <laughs> Eh, Master Yuan Dao and Master Yuan Dao praised and recognized the branch president's endeavor in promoting the sutra chanting activity. Yes, 
所以说，书上说，我们为国修道，利人天呐，为民祈福，定太平。Towards the questions proposed during the discussions, the masters offered the magnificent ways of Wang Chan Lao Tzu for solutions and hopefully guiding them to achieve the goals of taking good care of the members of the foundation and solving the difficulties they encounter. Weixing News Yi Jin ranks the top among the Chinese classes. Today, the ancient oriental wisdom has spread steadily in Taiwan with the modernized approach. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi and those who are meant to meet with him in this life have been dedicated into introducing Yi Jin education to Taiwanese mainstream education system. We welcome everyone to learn Yi Jin. The following news is about Master Yuan Xin taking virtuous fellows from Ma Dou Branch Temple on a field trip to Changji Mountain Xianfo Temple at Nantou County. Take a look. Weixinshanjiao Yijin University was founded as a lifelong learning institution for propagating of Yijin and Feng Shui. Fleet trips are recognized as important moments in learning, a shared social experience that provides the opportunity for virtuous fellows to encounter and explore historic sites with the principle of Yijin Feng Shui. On November 16, Master Yuan Xin, above a China branch temple, escorted the temple flag back to Changji Mountain Xianfo Temple and arranged a grandeur freight trip for virtuous pharaohs of China and Ma Dou branch temple. At first, Master Yuan Xin introduced a historical size of a Picard's fan at the beginning of the war and explained how Picard's fan out their feathers. All attending virtuous pharaohs felt that the natural world is wonderful and amazing. Next, Master Yuan Xin pointed out that the difference of pantries and what kind of factors impact them. And then he turned to introduce the white cream planting water, the bell of war peace, and 500 rohans in the Tathagata garden. The 500 rohans represent 500 expressions of sentient beings, 500 thoughts and ideas, representing 500 different kinds of manifestations of the heart. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi said, If you don't have a child or you are having difficulties in your workplace, you can come here and pray for a child or guidance in your place of work. The end of the tour, everyone has seen both the then and the architecture of the impressive buildings were chosen according to Feng Shui principles in Xianfo Temple with happiness. Weixin News, Nantou Xianfo Temple. Thank you for joining us today on Weixin English News. Every Monday at 11.30 p.m. and every Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. of Taiwan local time, we will be serving you the most detailed news of Weixin Shenjiao. Wang Chan Lao Tzu bless you and your family. See you next time. <music>